Hi, welcome to Sax Express. I'm Paul Hollis with another bite-sized saxophone lesson. Are you unhappy with the sound? Maybe you've got a thin or a squawky tone. If so, it could be partly down to your embouchure. And this is the saxophone player's mouth shape. The question is, is there one correct embouchure? You might be thinking of several saxophone players who may appear to have different embouchures, but the basics are the same. And the main ones are the top teeth being directly on the mouthpiece and only apply pressure to the reed with the lips and make sure you have a good seal all the way around the mouthpiece. The word embouchure comes from the French language and it simply means to purse your lips. But because there are different shaped lips, the pursing of lips can look a little different. Getting the embouchure right though will seriously improve things. Today I'm pointing out five things you should do and five things you definitely want to avoid. Also later in this video I'll be showing you a technique that will allow you to play through the whole range of the saxophone without the need to change the pressure or the shape of the embouchure. And this will seriously improve your tuning. If you've not already done so, why not subscribe to my channel before we get started? Okay, here are five things that will go a long way to improving your tone and tuning. Number one, make sure you put the top teeth directly on the mouthpiece. If it feels uncomfortable, why not get yourself a mouthpiece patch? Number two, Bring your mouth up naturally around the mouthpiece so that you can still see the corners of the bottom lip. If it helps, think about the lip shape when blowing out a candle or blowing seeds from a dandelion. Number three, feel that you're putting the pressure on the mouthpiece and reed from the sides. Number four, add pressure with the lips only rather than the bottom jaw. And number five, if you've successfully achieved all of the above. This should create a nice pad of lip under the reed. So let's just recap. Think about the lip shape when blowing out a candle or a dandelion. There's just a small amount of lip above the bottom teeth, similar to when saying food. So let's take a look at the five things you definitely want to avoid. Number one, do not bite into your lip with the bottom teeth. If you're getting a line inside your bottom lip, that's an indication that you are not putting pressure on the reed with the lips only. Number two, do not tuck your bottom lip inside of your mouth. Use a mirror to check that you can still see the corners of your bottom lip. Think about blowing that candle out. Number three, it's important that you do not pout too much as this will create too little support, allowing the reed to become out of control which will lead to a more squawky sound. Number four, do not use an E shape because this will reduce the amount of lip under the reed and create a much thinner sound. Finally, number five, do not change the pressure when playing high or low notes. Once you've got the embouchure secured, it's very important that you maintain this shape throughout the whole range of the saxophone. As mentioned earlier, I teach a simple technique which will allow you to play both high and low notes with the same amount of embouchure pressure. Let's take a look. Hopefully you didn't see too much change in my embouchure throughout the whole range of that phrase and this is because I used my singing technique. It's very simple, all you need to do is make exactly the same shape inside your throat that you would for singing the note. Let me show you, I'll play a G. Now I'll sing that note. Oh. So I use the same singing shape inside my throat for the note that I'm playing. It's that simple. I hope you were able to gain something from this video and if so, please give the thumbs up and share it with someone who you know that may benefit from it. Oh, and uh, one last reminder to hit that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
of bite-sized saxophone lessons. Thank you.